getting the new Ritmo nice and dirty. Right on. That's good for some post ride recovery right nice. there, man. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. We got some crazy weather going on here in Sedona. Let's do it. Crush that, dude. Sick. This is Austin, by the way. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Nice. What's up, bud? What up, my guy? How you doing? Uh, we're just cruising around, get some, what up? Get some footy. Yeah. What are you gonna go ride? Uh, I just did a little loop up on a uh, teacup and stuff. Oh, nice. Sugar, sugar loaf, yeah. You're a beast, dude. Yeah. Such a beast. Just chilling. The infamous. Just wanted to get Drew it. Zeraldo. <laughs> dude, you gotta check out his channel. Link below. Dude pairs it this up. guy's got to come ride with me. Yeah, we need to. Seriously, like, I've been missing you, bro. Yeah. Nice good. to meet you. Good I'm Drew. You. Yeah, man. Good I met you, like, you. two yeah. years ago. Nice to meet you How again. How you doing? Yeah, good, good to see you again. <laughs> this, is, this, is the one, this is the one festival that I really like going to. Yeah, it's super yeah, fun. Super it awesome. was a wild Sweet. weather this time. Though. It's always too fast, but yeah. this is the busy season, and yeah. i got to open a bike park. So. Dude, I Dude, can't for wait sure. to go and check it out. I'm now, just like last week, we started putting in all the trail signs, putting the gravel down on the trailhead, building the kiosk, and, and we're gonna run the machines back over the trails so everything's fresh. Look, so Burn Park is made for trail bikes. That's and, more like uh, forgiving too, so. It's a little more yeah. forgiving. They're really long jumps. They're nice. made to do at speed. You get to, who doesn't like to go fast and feel good? Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. People are like, <laughs> it's what it's all about. You're building another flow trail. I like stuff that's gnarly. It's like, yeah, we all, you're a fucking liar though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's been a little while. Good to meet you. Good yeah. to talk to you guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming over and saying yeah, hi. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Yeah, thanks. Must be Joe. That's me. I'm Drew. Drew. Yeah. How you doing out here? You, are you in this area? Yeah, I live out here. Yeah. You're lucky dog. Sedona, yeah. You're lucky son of a bitch. Yeah. I was telling Chris, the guy I was riding with today, I was uh -huh. like, man, I got kind of like depressed when I got home because we have our normal like riding trails are like nothing exciting. It's like we go back oh and it's like mostly XC trails. Yeah. Like ah, I love the technical riding, it's like great. and stuff. It gets you on your game, man. It's so you good. You probably, probably notice it going back on your trails. You're like, oh, I want to hit the harder lines, and you want to. Yeah. And it was cool because there was a couple spots in Highline last time we were out here. We were running with Brian DKC and nice. the whole like big YouTuber crew. Yeah, awesome. And like those guys are just showing us everything and blasting through. And I was just like, oh, I've never seen this feature. <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple spots I walked, like the uh, the pipe, or what do you call it? The, the shoot. shoot. Yeah. And then after that, there was yeah. another there, one. It's like an exposed yep. little, yeah. 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 Another two spots. And totally. Cleared them all today, no problem. Good, man. Like, oh, Congrats, so bro. Good. Yeah. No, it's not an easy trail, so, it's yeah. not. So many people yeah. just standing around. Like, literally, yeah. if you look at the GoPro footage from today, it's like an audience just standing there. Like, <laughs> That's but, intimidating yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but it was yeah. good, man. I was so stoked to clear all that stuff. It cool. felt good. I had I was riding a um, Forbidden Druid, and oh. Spartan got it to me. Sweet. And it was really cool, that high pivot stuff. It was just so composed over yeah. everything. It was great, Those man. are expensive, cool. though, huh? Those yeah. Are, yeah. <laughs> I think that XT bill is like seven grand or something. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, yeah, it's a steep price, but yeah. But I reached out to them, they're fun. such a rad company because I've worked, with, I've, I've rented bikes from them in the past and they were so cool. And okay. They were like, dude, we'll get you the bike, don't worry. I was like, really? Oh, really? I was like, all right. That's awesome. I was gonna pay, but Sweet. they hooked it up and it was cool. I, unfortunately, I only was out here for about two days. I got like, okay. we did, um, 
uh, Mezcal and some of those stuff. Yeah. And then you hit like Canyon of Fools. Yeah, Canyon of Fools. Yeah, that's and great. of course my GoPro stopped halfway through that. Dude, oh like, man. <laughs> Damn it. It's gonna be a mess with the footage. And then yeah, today we hit a high line. Yeah. So it was good. I'll man. send you some to fill in the gaps. Yeah. No, <laughs> that was right for you. Everything good? That was good, yeah. I mean, I get to ride all the time, so I was trying to just kind of hang out a lot here. And Spend a lot of time here. See yeah. the vendors, see, get some food and talk to people like you. And yeah. That's the biggest yeah. thing, dude. I love hanging out here. We run into everybody like Paul's here. Yeah. We're, talking, we're talking with Kyle in April and talking with uh, just everybody. Everybody's yeah. here. Great after having all the, the no no festivals, no fun for a while there. Back to back at it here. So I know. It's good. It's so good. Man. Getting the season going here. So It's a no-brainer. I tell, and I said in my video, like, if you haven't ridden here, get out here for a festival. It's the best experience you're going to have. Yeah. And even if somebody who doesn't know anybody, like, go shuttles, go do all that stuff. Yeah. Just have an experience. Man. Totally. So man. Sure. Sweet. Well, True. enjoy your nice food. Nice talking to you, man. Yeah, yeah. You, See you around. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've already talked to a couple vendors and stuff today that I didn't get a chance to the last couple days, so that was good. And now I'm out here on the trails enjoying. That was sweet. Yeah, it's pretty playful for having 160 and 150 mil of travel. Oh, man. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Fantastic. Good. Uh, what are you guys making your spokes out of? Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. When we build them, yeah. it, it's actually a three-day process yeah. because they're rope and because they stretch. We'll build them up to 100 kilograms of force, yeah. and then they'll stretch, detension, bring them back up to 100 kilograms nice. of force the next day. They'll stretch and detension. We, our final tension is 70 to 80. Oh, cool. That's the big advantage, like, is they're lighter weight, right? <laughs> so How much lighter? So half, 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 yeah. Each, each yeah. spoke is about 2.4 yep. grams. Whereas nice. a regular spoke is you know, four to six grams. Whoa. Sweet, wow. They're also, the raw material is 12 times as strong as steel. When we put everything together in the spoke form, it's about three times as strong. Wow. So how is this with our brutal Phoenix rocks? Is that gonna be tougher? I bet that would bounce them off better, actually. That's exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah. So if a rock hits it, it's yeah. gonna hit the spoke and it's gonna bounce off. Your metal spoke might take a nick. Won't make that horrible sound too. It'll make it a fun <laughs> sound. Even if you nicked it and a few of the threads came out and it looked like it was spraying, it's not like it's a pirate ship rope where you cut one and then everything keeps going then you fall into the sharks. Yeah, yeah. If you get a few fibers that come up, you literally hit it with super glue, lock them back down and go Sweet. on with your life. Wow. Cool. Nice. We've had riders who have ridden with spokes that have been cut almost halfway through and they'll last for weeks. Wow. Until they can get the time and energy to, to, to replace it. That's pretty crazy. Because That's they're awesome. not made out of metal, if you were to break this spoke, which honestly doesn't happen very often that anybody breaks spokes, on a metal spoke you break this one, now these two are working extra hard to compensate, and the rest of them are working extra hard, so now they're stressing faster, now they're all gonna start to break one by one later. You could ride this wheel 
without this spoke, without sa without sacrificing the wear on the rest of the spokes until wow. you can get that one replaced. Yeah. On our gravel wheels, yeah. some of those riders say they never have to do anything. Yeah, right. Um, our heavier riders, either heavier in weight or in use and abuse, yeah. do find that they have to tension them a little bit more yeah. than metal spokes. But you know, every 500 to 1,000 miles. Yeah. So it's not crazy. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks. Awesome. You're welcome. Appreciate it. How's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. You got some hats left still? Right. Do you have some yeah. only that color or? Uh, what size socks do you? Uh, XL. Yeah, usually. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it.